Hello there, it's Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at an introduction to genre. So let's get started. What does genre mean? According to Merriam-Webster, it is a category of artistic, musical, or literary composition characterized by a particular style, form, or content. Thus, in literature, it is another word for different types of story. Where does this word come from? Well, it comes straight from French, a language based on Latin. It is closely related to genus. Both words contain the G-E-N root because they indicate that everything in a particular category, a genre or a genus, belongs to the same family and thus has the same origins. So the main genres of literature would include novels, short stories, poetry and drama. But within the category of novels, we could also say that detective novels, sci-fi novels, romance novels, and young adult novels are separate genres. So let's look at its function. Different genres have different roles. For example, fiction and dramatic genres help students and writers learn and improve their communication skills. A poetic genre, on the other hand, enhances imaginative and emotional power of the readers. Non-fictional tasks and essays help readers develop analytical and persuasive capabilities. However, the major function of genre is to establish a code of behavior between the writers and audience, and keep the readers informed about the topics discussed or the themes presented. Now let's take a look at genre subcategories examples. Extract 1. The Martians had been repulsed. They were not invulnerable. They had retreated to their triangle of cylinders again, in the circle about walking. Guns were in rapid transit from Windsor, Portsmouth, Aldershot, Woolwich. Altogether, 116 were in position or being hastily placed chiefly covering London. Never before in England had there been such a vast or rapid concentration of military material. Oh my god, what is that? The genre here is science fiction, clues, Martians, and is an extract of the War of the Worlds. Let's take a look at another extract. On glancing over my notes of the 70-odd cases in which I have, during the last eight years, studied the methods of my friend Sherlock Holmes, I find many tragic, some comic, a large number merely strange, but none commonplace. For working as he did rather for the love of his arts than for the acquirement of wealth, he refused to associate himself with any investigation which did not tend toward the unusual, and even the fantastic. And yes, we have a detective, and so the genre is a detective fiction. The clues? Well, Sherlock Holmes, cases and investigation. This extract is taken from The Speckled Pen. Extract number three. She saw Mr. Darcy walk into the room. In a hurried manner, he immediately began an inquiry after her health. He sat down for a few moments and then, getting up, walked about the room. Elizabeth was surprised but said not a word. After a silence of several minutes, he came towards her in an agitated manner and thus begun. In vain I have struggled. I will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Elizabeth's astonishment was beyond expression. She stared, colored, doubted, and was silent. Yes, here we have a romantic fiction. The clues are obvious. Feelings ardently admire love. This is an extract from Pride and Prejudice.
So let's take a look at the fourth extract now. Mr. Olivander moved closer to Harry. Harry wished he would blink. Those silvery eyes were a bit creepy. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. 11 inches, pliable, a little more power, and excellent for transfiguration. Well, I say your father favorite. Is really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Yes, Harry Potter, of course. And the genre here is fantasy fiction. The clues? Wand, transfiguration, wizard. And yes, that's an extract from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Let's take a look at the next extract. Extract number five. All at once, the wolves began to howl, as though the moonlight had had some peculiar effect on them. Just then, a heavy cloud passed across the face of the moon, so that we were again in darkness. Suddenly, I became conscious of the fact that the driver was in the act of pulling up the horses in the courtyard of a vast ruined castle, from whose tall black windows came no ray of light, and whose broken battlements showed a jagged line against the moonlit sky. Oh, that's Dracula. Yes, the genre here is gothic fiction. The clues, wolves, howled, moonlight, darkness, ruined castle. This is an extract from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Let's look at extract number six now. Suddenly, a little cloud of pirates leaped from the woods on the north side and ran straight on the stockade. The borders swarmed over the fence like monkeys. Squire and Grey fire again and yet again. Three men fell, one forwards into the enclosure, two back on the outside. But of these, one was evidently more frightened than hurt, for he was on his feet again in a crack and instantly disappear among the trees. Two had bit the dust, one had fled, four had made good their footing inside our fences, while from the shelter of the woods, seven or eight men, each evidently supplied with several muskets, kept up a hot though useless fire on the log house. At the same moment, another pirate grasped Hunter's musket by the muscle, wrenched it from his hand, blacked it through the loophole, and with one stunning blow, laid the poor fellow senseless on the floor. Oops, yes, pirates. The genre here is adventure fiction. Clues, pirates, muskets, and the book here is Treasure Island. Now is your turn. Write a paragraph explaining what your favorite genre is and why. Try to use some vocabulary associated with that particular genre. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to, to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And you may share the lesson if you liked it. Until next time, take care.